Hello, everybody. Welcome to the weekly share de Zer Shimshon. I hope everybody's well and uh, enjoying all the good weather we're having. <laughs> um, it's Yud Gimel Tavis Tavshin Pei Gimel. And it's Erev Shabbos Parshas Vayichi. And I'm taking a short piece from the Parshas, from the Parsha, it's, it's uh, Capital Hay. The Pusik says, Vasisi Modi Chesed Ve'emes. And Rashi says, of course, everybody famous Chesed Ve'emes means Chesed Shoisim Yamamesim, who Chesed Shalemes. And that's what the, uh, the burial place, the funeral parlor in Detroit is called, the Chesed Shalemes, because it's a beautiful place and it helps people to get to their final destination. Anyway, and Sheinu Mitzapit, uh, <clears throat> but the Nikuda here is why is the Chesed Shel Emes? This is the yeah the loving kindness of truth. Sheinu Mitzapit L'Tashlum Gemo because you don't want any special payment. In other words, once you've helped somebody that's dead, how is he going to help you again? How is he going to pay you back? Well, on the other hand, look at what Representative <laughs> Zera Shimshon has been doing. Uh, we didn't bury him, but we've been learning his Svarim and Sifse uh, Ranani, his lips are speaking in the grave to us and helping us all out. Okay. He showed me for Shim. Shari Rashi adds my cuss of the common out of Pasuk. I am giving you one, like, a shoulder above your your brothers. What does that mean? Shemechad, right? And because I'm giving an extra portion over your brothers because you're going to be engaged in burying me. I'm giving you a portion where you can be buried. Well, you see, one second, this is payment, right? Is he already, it's not the Chesed Shalemus anymore. He's not, he's getting something back for it. He's paying him off. He's giving him a portion in Eretz Yisrael for this. Really, in truth, Yaakov just said to Yosef not to bury him in Egypt. Yosef wanted to add on to the Mitzvah in Yosef he wanted himself to be to go along and be engaged in the burial. That's he says. And besides what he promised him, he shouldn't bury him in Egypt. So it's a it was a very big favor that he did that he didn't want to, he didn't expect any payment for this. And you know that I can imagine. I mean, some people saw the how the queen, all the, the pomp and circumstances. I didn't watch it, but but you know it was all over the uh, uh, the papers and the internet and you know all the hoopla that went on with burying the queen and now the pope. Um, you know, it was nothing at all compared to what they did for Yaakov. Nothing. I mean, you know how long it is to travel by foot. With, a, you know, a burial procession from Egypt all the way to Eretz Israel, you know, just figure at least two weeks, at least, not three. And then, you know, and then everybody else came along, and then they continued the burial process for another, who knows how. So anyway, it's not Pasha, what they did. And if you think about it, it's amazing how they accomplished it. Okay, anyway, so he didn't expect anything to, in payment for that. That was way beyond payment. He said, When he was at the end of his days and he saw what it was going to be, it said, as he says, He knew he was going to die. I mean, everybody knows they're going to die sooner or later, right? And Elohim will be with you. And God will take you back to your the land of your forefathers, Eretz Yisrael. 
He saw Ra, I'm sorry, he saw that Yosef was going to be engaged in his burial. As then he said, I have given give you one portion extra than your brothers. Because I know you're going to be engaged in my burial. In order to elevate my honor. So I'm going to give you an extra portion to increase your honor. In the Midrash says, Obigamar in the Perikam and then Saita, Daf Yud Gimel Amad Abbas, it says, Lefisha Ganvuhu Mishchem, since they, his brother stole him from Shechem, Hutsuchu, or they were, he was stolen from Shechem, right? Hutsuchu Lehachzira Lishchem, so they had to return him to his to that burial place in Shechem. Arowi, Shetia Shaloi Lagamri, and it should be fitting that it should be his completely. Then he would be buried in his portion. Dafka. When it means he quotes the Pasuk, I will return him there, you, it's a plural. When the Jewish people will get the final redemption, they will go back to Eretz Yisrael and they will all be there. Well, be emes kacha ya. The truth of the matter, that's what happened. Sha'af atzmais hashvatim alo im Yosef. Look, they didn't just take Yosef with his bones back. They took all the shvatim. They went in the midbar forty years. Kimoisha omur chazal and breishis rabba. Omoisha he'alam im Yisrael. Moshe brought them up from Egypt. All the all the shvatim. Vayikach Moshe as atzmais Yosef imoy. And he took the bones of Yosef with him. Why was Yosef privileged that his bury, the burial person should be Moshe Abeno? Because his Yosef was privileged that he should be burying his father. So therefore, Yosef was privileged to be buried by Moshe Abeno. And now, the Segula. Okay, I got a, just a new, another story. I remember when Reb Nachman Selsa wrote that first story in the Zer Shimshon in Hamodia over 10 years ago. What well, recalls Rabbi David Rosen from Muncie. The story that first appeared as a tantalizing mix of Segula and the importance of learning and how the Sefer, or Zer Shimshon, almost no one knew about how it saved a man's life. After reading the story, I got in touch with my, a friend of mine who had been married for six years about, without children and sent him a copy of Rabbi, of copy of Rabbi Seltzer's beautiful and almost hard to believe article, advising him to begin a Seder in Zer Shimshon. Somehow I felt that there was something reliable and safe about the Koyach of that special Sadiq who was also barely remembered, having passed away uh, so many decades earlier. While it was true that we had never heard of the Zer Shimshon, I had a feeling that people who followed his advice would find themselves pleasantly surprised when their prayers were answered. At the, t- at the time I, that first article was published in Hamoidia, it was virtually impossible to obtain a copy of the Zer Shimshon. My friend went to from Swarim store to Swarim store asking whether they had it in stock, only to be disappointed time and again. Not only did, it, did the stores not have this safer in stock, but many of them never even heard of it in the first place. Eventually, he heard about Rav Naftali Ali Melech Vakshal Shlita from Williamsburg, a Rav of the, of the Apt uh, dynasty of the Oral Shemayim, who had invested an exceptional effort from, in the publication of the safer and merited to see huge Yeshuas. Rav Vakshal still had copies of the safer, and my friend immediately purchased a set of Zereshimshan. A year later, he called me up, full of wonder, to let me know that his wife had given birth to a son. I went to thank you for the incredible Eitzah you gave me. I'm just happy that I was able to help you, I replied, thrilled at the turn of events where a couple who had been married for so long without children were now blessed with a baby of their own. 
Okay, I'm not going to say the rest of this because it's not important. The, you get the idea that there's a sagula, it works, and everybody should be have a wonderful Shabbos and have all the merits of the sagula is from learning the Zer Shimshon and be have, have their zivugim fulfilled, the Shalom Bayes, and Parnasa, and Refu Shalema to all those who need it. Kol Tov Zagimech. Have a good Shabbos.